let me begin by appreciating everybody here, your patience, and uh, being part of this struggle. We want to raise an alarm. Something transpired that Nigerians and the international community need to be aware of. As you are aware that we have the Chief Justice of the Federation, His Lordship, Justice Ario Ola. We were made to understand, we were made to understand that the Chief Justice of the Federation, that we may so pretend over the litigation process, is currently in the United Kingdom. And how did he get there? We are made to understand that he left one week before time in order to avoid suspicion. While he got there, he was on wheelchair, he was pushed on wheelchair, and he boarded the British Airways. And immediately he got to London. He dashed into his hotel and disembarked from the wheelchair. The Chief Justice of the Federation does not have any physical disability. But for him to disgust in this manner raises a lot of questions. And on this premise, we're also made to understand that while he got uh, checked into his hotel, he began to rigmarole. He began to move around to go for other things in his foot. So that is the subterfuge there. And information also have it that the, one of the presidential candidates of this election that, is, that was um, moved and declared um, to, uh, in respect to the election. And now I don't want to mention names because this organization here, we stand for justice. We stand for justice. And on that premise, we shall continue to demand for justice. So what we are saying here right now is that one of the presidential candidates that partook, one of the principal contenders of this election, is currently in the United Kingdom. He left Nigeria unannounced. So what does that tell you? There's going to be a meeting. There's going to be a meeting in a Nicodemus manner in the United no. Kingdom. In that meeting, we have it on a good authority that Nigeria, the justice system of Nigeria, will be deliberated on that table. And that meeting already, we already know the premonition of that meeting. They are going to be adjudicating justice and dispersing justice to a particular individual that is the principal contender of this election. We are saying no. No. We are saying no to that. No. So what we are demanding is for the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Ariwala, to step aside yes. 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 and allow a new CGN for this country. Yes. A new CGN that may superintend over the presidential litigation so. that has started already. Because we know that from the appellate court, it will graduate into the Supreme Court. Yes. And he is in charge. We don't have confidence oh, in his lordship. His lordship has done well for himself, but at this point, Nigerians have raised a lot of issues. He, and we also have another chief, another justice, Justice Emeka Wante, who has continually made statements, statements that are pregnant, statements and judgments. He has dispensed justices, justice that are questionable. So at this point. That is him. You can see the placard here. These justices, Justice Mbeka, Wete, we don't have the confidence in his justice system or judgment. We're also asking the federal government and the National Judicial Commission to please, as a matter of urgency, to make sure this man does not partake among the justices that we see pretend over the presidential litigation at the Supreme Court as well. Due to his antecedent, the miscarriage of justice, the, uh, in fact, the perversity, the kind of judgment he gave in regard to the antecedent of the judgment he gave, we, we can cite instances like that of Ahmed Lawal and that of uh, uh, Ababio. Those cases are still fresh within, with the Nigerian people. Everybody knew that they all abrogated and destroyed the electoral system. The entire provision, the entire gamut of the electoral system, the electoral provisions of 2022 that was amended, they all dismantled it. There was so much infraction. And this justice here, by my rights, whose frame is by my rights here, actually gave a judgment that was in consonance with undemocratic setting. So we are asking that Justice Emeka Wente and the Chief Justice of the Federation, 
Justice Ariwola should not be part of those that will decide the presidential litigation. They should recourse themselves. They know how to use that language. It's a legal terminology. They should recourse themselves from this litigation and allow credible people with impeccable pedigree, people with impeccable characters, people that are abreast with the law to superintend over this process. So at this point, 